how to withdraw crypto from Coinbase to another wallet or exchange. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to transfer crypto from Coinbase to another wallet or exchange. So firstly, you want to go to send and receive in the top right, and then you want to make sure that the toggle is set to send. Next, you want to pick the crypto you hold and plan to withdraw. In this example, I'm going to pick Ethereum. You will then need to pick the network you want to send your crypto over, and this needs to correspond to a network the other exchange can receive this specific crypto on. So in this example, I'm going to transfer my crypto to Binance, but generally speaking, you can find your wallet address and available networks you can transfer over by going to the other exchange and looking for something along the lines of deposit or deposit crypto. If you want a tutorial for a specific exchange that you may be using, then I recommend checking out my channel as I have lots of videos explaining how to find wallet addresses on loads of different exchanges. So once you are in the deposit crypto section of the exchange you are transferring to, you then need to pick the crypto you want to deposit. So in my case, I'm going to pick Ethereum. Here you need to pick the network you plan to send your crypto on. If we flip back to Coinbase for a second, you can see all the networks that Coinbase can send Ethereum on and their associated fees. I'm going to pick the cheapest one, which is Base, and I'm going to go back to Binance and check they can receive Ethereum on Base, which they can. So now I have picked the network, Binance has given me my specific wallet address for this specific crypto and network. Wallet addresses will vary if you change either your cryptocurrency or network. And it's critical to pick the correct corresponding wallet address and network when transferring crypto, otherwise you risk losing your funds. I'm going to copy my wallet address from Binance using these two sheets of paper. It's always worth copying the address or scanning the QR code rather than typing it manually. So now I'm going to flip back to Coinbase. I've chosen my network as base and Coinbase warns you that the recipient address needs to accept your chosen crypto on your chosen network as otherwise you will lose your funds. Once you have confirmed you understand this by pressing yes it's supported, it will take you to the next screen where I'm going to paste the wallet address that we copied previously. If you plan to send to this wallet address more than once, you can press add contact and add a name to this. Or if you plan to just send to this once, you can just click the button above this to go back to the previous screen. Now you want to key in the amount you want to send in either a sterling or crypto amount. You can flip between the two using the arrows below. So I'm going to key in 10 GBP. And if you press preview send, you can see any associated fees. And on this transaction, there is no fees. It's always worth reviewing the crypto, wallet address and network and any other details before sending and if it's your first time transferring to a wallet then it's always worth sending a small test amount of crypto first because if you key in the details wrong then you will lose your funds. Once you're happy with this you can press send now and if you've set up an authenticator app with this you will need to key in the code now. And you can now see that I have sent 10 pounds worth of Ethereum. And after a period of time, which varies due to many factors such as network, this should turn up on your other wallet. For those looking for new exchanges, I have put some links of the ones I use down in the description below, where some of them have deposit bonuses and I may get a kickback if you sign up using them, but it massively helps support this channel and I'll be forever thankful. So anyway, that is how to transfer crypto from Coinbase to another exchange or wallet. If you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, then you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.